Greetings and salutations everyone, my name is Hafro, and today we're watching The Haunting of Bly Manor, Episode 7. Welcome back to the channel everyone. I'm really looking forward to getting into these last two episodes. Um, apologies if I'm blinking a lot during this reaction because my contacts are fairly dry right now, so apologize for that, but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. To do a quick recap of what we've learned so far, uh, Miss Gross dead, Peter also dead, and now possessing Miles. Miles possessed. Flora still cute, a little weird. Uh, there's still something going on with her that we haven't. I haven't really figured out. Um, we have the mysterious white woman who is now choke holding Danny and hopefully not killing her. Danny and Jamie in a relationship, which I hope stays and is <laughs> good. Uh, Owen oblivious, but still the best guy in this show. And I think that's everyone. So yeah, obviously we're gonna be hopefully learning more about what's going on with the house and why <laughs> everyone just doesn't pass on when they die. Uh, unfinished, unfinished business and what like. So looking forward to that. As always, if you enjoy the reaction, please make sure to leave a like and please subscribe to the channel. And you can follow me on my social media Instagram at Thunder and Twitter at Thunder. It's all the same. Really easy to follow me because it's all the same. Um, but yeah, let's jump into the reaction. Okay, so we're starting back at the end of the last episode. Yep, so we're now at this part and now we hopefully get to find out what... Uh, What's going on? That no f face is still creepy. Ooh, are we gonna get flashbacks of the no face? Is this Viola? Almost an interval of five years apart. The elder Viola. The younger Viola, yep. In memory of Played by Mac Ma Mike Flanagan's wife, who I think she was the middle child of Hill House. Great job in that. I like the the black and white style that they're doing uh, for this flashback. Neither a male stood to lose control. Perdita in her sweetness, Viola in her wit, and Viola, of course, in the fine. What did they say that the middle, the younger daughter's name was? Perla something. Charmers or conquerors. <laughs> Look at those outfits. Oh, the 1700s. Oh man. Absent when he arrived. This left Perla to, to entertain. Yeah, her name is Perla. That's a weird name that I've never heard of in my life. And just as Perla began to feel the stirrings of the true. The younger daughter looks familiar too. Why? I can't place these actors. <laughs> if she comes walking in like a badass. No, the way things would be done. The wedding was a small affair, fit in the business arrangement that it was. Okay, so he married Viola. Who had meant to maintain her ladyship over Bly. Does it become a situation similar to uh, the Flora's dad, where uh, the uncle uh, ends up sleeping with the... So, like, uh, Viola's sister, Pulitzer, ends up sleeping with him in... A rift between the family or something? Is it like a similar story like that maybe? Holy order. Till death us part. Why did she pause just before the till death to us part? Is she planning on killing him? The white nightgown would uh, explain the white dress that the ghost is wearing. That was kind of creepy with the younger, the sister in the background. Instead, we shall move mountains, my girl. Okay, so it's a daughter. It is you. It is us. Yeah, but what about the sister? She, uh, not happy about that, probably. After Isabel was born. Isabel, okay. But nothing holds, and all things change. Give oh, time. oh, he's giving her the look. I have a feeling. 
My suspicions were right. As for Viola. <laughs> uh oh. Her suspicions began to go in her lungs. Poison? Viola. Impossible finally to ignore. Is she bleeding from the mouth, probably? Yep. I'm trying to think, back in the 1700s, what was, uh, what was a sickness that they would have? There's the uh, creepy dude from what was it, the first or second epi episode? I knew it was a surgeon dude. Plague doctor. It is not the plague. Okay, so it's the plague. <laughs> she has the lung. The lung? How long? What, what? You will. God help you, but you will. Okay, so I was wrong, maybe, about the sister. <laughs> Definitely makes me glad that I live in today's society with modern medicine, although with COVID-19, it's uh, not as bad as this one is, but uh... <laughs> yes, let me burn some incense to help heal you. Yes. Old remedies. <laughs> Are they leeching her? They're leeching her too. Oh, man. That's just gonna, that's just gonna, oh, oh, what? Oh. Okay. That's more than just leeching. That's like, you're okay. Well, she's gonna die now for sure. Have a place for you. No. What did you say? She refuses to say the words, and then she becomes a ghost. Wonderful. God should know better. She is as he made her. She says she will not. They did a very good job on the casting of the two sisters. They look very similar to each other. I wonder if that's her sister in real life. I'll have to look that up. Not we need sleep. Oh, you're just an awful boy. How <laughs> oh, am I? <laughs> well, at least they uh, raised her knowing that uh, her mother was dead instead of trying to pawn the sister off as the mom. Let's Here comes the romance. One... Two, three, one, two, three. Yep, it's a waltz. It always bothers me in movies and stuff when they try and pawn like a, a four four time uh, <laughs> piece of music off as a waltz when it, it's not. <laughs> so it's good to see that they're doing the proper time signature. Okay, hello. Wait, is she still alive? Viola had surpassed the predictions of the physicians and priests alike. Oh. Held alive. Ugh. What a slow, agonizing death. Oh. That's not cool. <laughs> She's just trying to help you. So, how does she eventually die then, I guess, would be my question. That dark carriage and its driver denied so often, in fact, that it would not venture to Bly Manor again. Okay, so if death doesn't come to Bly Manor, that would explain why anyone who dies there becomes a ghost. Because the she's basically living death. And the house is keeping out the reaper from taking the souls you will keep the key and you will never give it to anyone except our child oh does something happen to all the jewelry and stuff and that uh <laughs> is she about to go die and then he like gives it to the sister and then stuff goes down the word began in her chest as the sickness did for viola She's gonna kill her sister. Enough. And the Grim Reaper's not coming, and now Viola's the ghost. So I was right that the ghost is uh, her. It's a lot of keys to open that chest. 
every turn to see you as a mother. Uh oh. Wait, is it Perlitar who becomes the face ghost? Because she definitely has more of the kind of like skinny face that, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> as I was saying, that the, the, um, Lady of the Lake has. I guess maybe I was wrong. She's going for the keys. She's going for the keys. I wonder why it says I guard on them. Something gonna happen with the picture as she passes by it. The lighting is really good in this episode. Black and white lighting in photography is always amazing. Wait a second. Is Viola the one that's killing everyone, but the woman that's stuck up in the attic with no face, is that her? Is that Perlitor? So we still don't know who that person is either. Oh look, you got what you wanted. The things, material possessions, congratulations. There's no music going on right now. It's super quiet. I have a bad feeling something's gonna jump scare me pretty soon. <laughs> oh, of course. Of course. Was that Viola killing her sister through her clothes? Oh my. Oh. Okay. What's going on? Is she like in a dream or something? She's saying that her skin is rejuvenated. What does that mean? You're dead. What's in the background? Something's gonna happen. Okay. Yeah, those are all the jewels that got put away. Oh, she's trapped in the chest. She's trapped in the chest with all of her things, and when Perlitur opened it up, she got out. Has to be it. And time went by. How much time it was impossible to reason. So she went insane. Truth of the trunk. But Knew it. Waited for her Knew it. At the end of this purgatory, an ocean of time, the moment finally came. But it wasn't the daughter. So now what happens? How do they get to where they are during Bly Manor? That's the question. Only his sadness. Only that okay, you can't see her. And so, oh, they buried Lady Perdita and set about... Perdita. Okay. All these years of isolation. For all the ache in her. Do they take the trunk out and she stays there? No reason, but he felt confident all the same. Whatever curse had claimed. Or does he put that in the lake? Do, does he? Uh, he puts the trunk in the lake. To, uh, of course he does. Oh no. <sighs> she would wake. She would walk and she would be the freaking footprints. They go into the house and back out of the house from the mud. We turn into a refuge later on. In this wing without okay, so it's 
Kim that becomes the Plague Doctor. How long does it take for her to lose I her face? And forget. And forget. And with the forget so I was right. So she is the Lady of the Lake and the one that's killing everyone. So too, her face. That's yeah, creepy. Did she remember? Child. Must be the child whom she'd sought. Are you kidding me? Befell all trapped to ply. A fate that befell Viola's once sister. Now forgotten in the attic. Okay, I was right. <laughs> I was right. It was the girl in the attic. Yeah. Okay, so tell us what happens to Danny. I really hope she survives this. Of course. Of course. Of course. Well, that was probably one of my favorite episodes of this season by far uh, really enjoyed getting to know all the backstory of how everyone came to be at Bly and the reason why I had a feeling that there was something that was holding them there but it's really interesting to know that just by the sheer willpower <laughs> that Viola was able to keep everyone else from moving on as well and now she's just gone so she doesn't even know what she's doing anymore so I'm interested to see if there's some kind of happy ending that comes from this, uh, I have a feeling Danny's fate is is not going to be good, and hopefully Jamie and Owen can get out of there before they also die too. And we still don't know what's going to happen to Miles and Flora, so really, really liked that episode. Definitely one of my favorites. Uh, I loved all of the the acting, the black and white. All that stuff was really interesting. I love I love that style of filmmaking. I'm a big uh, noir fan and those kind of uh, mystery thrillers. So uh, uh, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you with the next one and the final one. So uh, looking forward to it.